many gold gloves if you want, Jason? Five gold gloves. You say it like it's something cute. I take a lot of pride in defense, and I'm willing to give up my body. This catch, there was a, an element of sacrifice. I'm gonna catch this ball, be determined, no matter what. It's a rewarding play as an outfielder, but definitely a painful crash. Playing defense with the Cubbies has been a lot of fun because Wrigley is a one-of-a-kind outfield. From the foul territory, the Ivy, and uh, we've done a lot of winning. Favorite catch of my career, favorite catch on the baseball field in, in my life is the catch that I made in San Francisco against the Giants. From AT&T Park in San Francisco, it's the Chicago Cubs against the San Francisco Giants. The Giants, you know, they won the World Series in 10, they won the World Series in 2012, 2014, and 2016, that boast was very much alive. But it's also the year that's supposed to be our year. It's always a unique place because like Wrigley Field, it has that history to it. It has the brick walls, it has the water behind it. It's very scenic. It's a ballpark that I love to play in. I've had a lot of success there on both sides of the ball. You understand the ballpark, you know it's really shallow in right field. And then you see how quickly it darts out. You know, it kind of looks like a stock market chart. Then the corner 365 and then jarred out really quickly to the 421. Into triples alley, they would call it. And with the dimensions, to me, that looks very similar to the polo grounds in New York. Of course, Willie Mays, he made his forever infamous over-the-shoulder catch in that ballpark. Part of being a great defender is expecting the worst to happen, expecting to have to run as far as possible, having a great imagination, and expecting to make that play no matter what. Unbelievable play, and I think when you show some of the best catches ever in baseball, this should be the first one shown to anyone. Here's Jake Arrieta, eight starts, seven and zero. Oh. League best 129 ERA. No matter how you dissect this guy, it's just off the charts good. You know, Snake, at this time, he was our horse coming off a of Cy Young year. He's got a sinker in a, in a big park, but it just so happens that Denard Span has a good sinker swing. Span comes into the game with an on base average of 373. Arietta and Span both used to be in the American League. Spans four for 14 lifetime against him. We had Denar Span at the plate. We had Jake Arrieta on the mound. You're amped up, ready to go from the first pitch. Fastball low to Denard Span. I think when you look back at our playoff runs as a group, you don't see us doing any winning without playing great defense. On defense, even more than offense, you know, we're all in tune. To me, it's just an all-around game where you're really in sync and locked in. And I do take a lot of pride in that because you know it can bring a huge lift. You know, Arietta on the mound, he trusts his stuff, being able to say, I'm going to throw my pitch here and trust my guys to go get it. To me, that looked like a strike, but I'm probably saying, ah, no, I'm going to be a Giants fan here for a couple pitches and make you come to him. And Snake was like, all right, here you go. I'm coming at you again. I got my arm, put your swing on. So I did my check-in before the pitch. I know that a ball hit to my left, it's gonna get there very quickly. It's gonna either bounce off or be a home run. There's only but so much I can do in that area. But to the right of me, you have Triples Alley, and 
you do want to defend against that. I'm playing that game with myself in my head. I'm ready for it. Expect the worst to happen. Boom. I saw the ball hit, I was anticipating it, and I just ran. I know I had been in this ballpark before. I know where Dex is playing to my right. I know where the corner is behind me, and I know that I have a straight line to be able to run up diagonally. And I was just able to follow that on that route to the ball. Then you're taught, okay, feel for the warning track. Step and a half before I make the catch. I feel the difference between that and the grass. I'm like, I can go down right here. But I also felt like I had to reach a little bit. Then it went from those instincts to crash. Span hits a drive into deep right center. Back goes Hayward, back toward the warning track near the wall. Hayward dives. Did he make the catch? Immediately feel like I need to grab my ribs. Couldn't really breathe. I'm like, man, this is unlike anything I felt before. You had a couple of fans yelling over the wall, man, you ain't hurt, get up. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be alive right now. I don't care what you're yelling at me. Obviously, I caught the ball, but this really hurt. <laughs> After the game, Bruce Bochy, who was managing the Giants at the time, said that's the greatest catch he's seen ever made in that ballpark. Ironically, there's Willie May's name right there as I'm going to make this catch. That's an outfielder's dream. 